A stripper is taking a stand at one local nightclub demanding the right to unionize. Instead of working on a busy Friday night, dancers at one North Hollywood club are protesting. KTLA's Pedro Rivera is live outside the club with more on the dancers' demands. Pedro. Yeah, Micah, share instead of hitting the stage, they're hitting the picket lines behind me here at Star Garden Topless Dive Bar in North Hollywood as they have a pretty big crowd out here joining them in a protest. They even have a sign outside where they're marking down how many customers have joined them in solidarity by turning away and others who have crossed the picket line. And so far, it's been a pretty successful night for them. This as they now have the backing of a major union. Strippers and actors. Shout it from the rafters! Or in this case, from the Actors' Equity Association parking lot in North Hollywood. AEA union members and strippers from Star Garden Dive Bar gathered for a rally as they are moving closer to becoming unionized strippers. Many of us keep this profession a secret, but today is a day of reckoning. More than 50 supporters showed up to back the dancers with signs, buttons, and chants. <laughs> Everybody has the right to, to unionize and, and come together and, and request um, decent living standards and wages. Actors Equity Association President Kate Schindel says now that the National Labor Relations Board petition has been filed, the workers will soon vote to be represented by equity. It's not a small task, but it's an important one. The union represents more than 51,000 actors and stage managers in live theaters, but for the first time, strippers could be members. We have things in common, and those things are really important, and, and those things are, um, for example, contract provisions that we know we already have in other contracts that can protect these workers. The dancers accuse the Star Garden management of taking money and allowing strippers to perform in unsafe working conditions. So dancer Velveeta believes the other performers won't mind paying dues for better protection. It's worth the 3%. We're paying 50% now. Strippers and actors, say it from the rafters. The rally turned to a protest outside the Star Garden where for the last five months, some of the dancers have been without a job. Performers united will never be divided. Union President Schindel feels the eventual vote will pass and the dancers will be back on stage, but this time with the union's backing. They work so hard to break solidarity. Fortunately, this is a really, uh, really powerful and passionate group of workers, and uh, I think they're, they're going to have some things to say about that. Now the performers and the union are waiting on an official vote from the dancers through the National Labor Relations Board. If it passes, this will be the home of the only unionized strippers in the United States. I did reach out to the bar and its management have yet to hear back. Uh, this is the second day in a row that they've uh, not decided to speak with us. But as you can see here, the strippers, they do have a lot of support behind them. They do plan to stay out here tonight until 1 a.m. And they say they're going to keep on staying out here until they become unionized.